How are my people? The real experts are increasingly clear that the British monarchy is at a minimum now, not only because of the issue of cancer affecting both Kate Middleton and King Charles, but also because Harry is giving a lot of trouble. Even the tension between the brothers, Prince William and Prince Harry, could lead to losing a very important advisor for the British royal house. Everything has a reason, so if you think it's simple, my people, we started. The thing is that not everything is as simple as it seems, and in the end, everything has to have a solution, or at least you have to try to solve it. Let's see what happened. According to a British newspaper, Mirror, Prince Harry's dispute with William deprives the future king of one of his main advisors, says an expert and we're going to try to understand why it deprives Prince William of such an important advisor. To make matters worse, as Pilar Era was telling us, he doesn't want to be king because he doesn't get along with the press. Imagine if on top of that, he stops his advisors, who are like his crutch, the people he trusts to work in the shadows with him. They are for the work. Not good. The tense relationship between Prince Harry and his big brother, Prince William, could be costly in the future, according to an expert. The bond of siblings has been fractured lately, especially after the Duke of Sussex revealed publicly his problems. Harry noted to his brother in television interviews and in his memoirs. In Spare, we already know he made his documentary on Netflix and that in his memoir, published in 2023, Harry also shared a bit of everything. Obviously, this makes the credibility of the monarchy a bit depressed. Suppose that the main defendant of all this is always Harry, who hasn't done well, but the fact of talking about intimate and private things in the royal house doesn't work well. Themes like racism and very rude topics, as well as the Prince Andrew sex scandal, in the end, can leave the monarchy weakened. According to the Mirror, although some have speculated that the couple could get closer again in the midst of their family's poor health, particularly King Charles's health and William's wife, Princess Kate, it seems that any reconciliation is far away. Is it true that there is a little bit of opinion for all tastes of real experts who say one thing, but almost everything, most of them, really say that they think not? Even though it is true that Harry had a detail in Canada in that interview at the Invictus Games that I want my family, I love my family, something like that, I quote textual words, roughly said. That I love my family and the idea that families unite in times of illness seem to be just wishful thinking for now. What if Harry went to see his father for half an hour in a good way, something bureaucratic, to look good both with him and with the British press? And it really was a thing there. No, and the real expert Charles Ray believes that his current problems could lead the king to be deprived of someone who should be his closest help. In statements to Dayson, the expert said they were very, very close, and this is what makes it so sad that they are now separated when William becomes king. I always believed that Harry would be one of your main advisors. I think this is outside the window. I think so. I think that not at all, said the advisor we were talking to. We refer to Harry. Let's see, I know that Harry is more mature, and so he is true. He was always helping his brother and such, but of course, there is friction not only between them but also between Meghan and Kate, which makes it complicated. We are talking about the four, and with one of them not wanting to reconcile, whether it's Harry or William with the other. I don't want to imagine that Meghan doesn't want it. No, that's the one that seems to be making more money. If Meghan doesn't want it, then Harry won't either. For not being sick with his wife, he will do what his woman wants, and she is not going to try to reconcile. You can have cordiality with your brother, yes, obviously, but from there to a reconciliation, I doubt it. According to this real expert, continued saying that the late mother of the brothers, Princess Diana, always wanted their children to stay as united as possible. They didn't have one against the other, she said, and it was them against the rest of the world. But of course, not now. In his book, Harry accused his brother of finding Meghan rude and abrasive and alleged that William grabbed him by the neck, broke his necklace, and threw him to the floor during an explosive fight. That's to fix. Until what point they even reached the backhands. The news of King Charles's cancer diagnosis apparently left the door open for a possible royal return. Well, he was hoping for that, maybe to have a talk with his brother somewhere. I don't know if you know that he has made a statement to any television from any planet, not from anywhere in the world. Not that he can do it, but that William can't. They're going to ask about the brother. Because these are not questions that fall into the logic of journalists. With which it cannot be returned if what I was hoping for, I would call him back so, nothing in private, and they haven't returned, and that's why we've seen a break. Well, it's not going to return either. That is, first of all, what Harry has to do is to apologize in private and public shape. If this doesn't happen, I think the gesture was a bit left out. 
According to reports, Harry was going to offer his services to his father in a temporary way after his father's health problem. But last month, it was said that the only way to return is if his brother agrees, which seems to be not the case. Royal Butler Grant Harold suggested that Harry could have a conversation with his brother about the resumption of his royal duties. But obviously, a lot has happened in recent years, and that must be solved before th. E. Aces return permanently. I mean, no, I don't think they'll come back permanently. First, because Meghan doesn't want to, she's very comfortable living in her own country. And second, because she considers that they don't want to. But not even in the royal house that she was abused, according to her, like in the United Kingdom itself. Because she feels more loved in her country. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex renounced their royal duties in 2020. Harry appeared on the Good Morning America in February and said, I have other planned trips that would take me through the UK or back, so, you know, I'll stop by, I'll see my family. So much so, how can I encompass him saying family? He didn't say my father, he said family, which is interesting. But I think Will didn't return the glove, no, he didn't pick up the glove. It's like the thing stopped standing still, and it hasn't come back. William can't make statements or even if he could, he will do them with regards to his brother. So, they're not going to ask about that either, a bit of an out-of-order question to a future king. In short, this is what I can tell you. I hope it will be solved, and we can talk about it on this channel. There was a reconciliation, but for that, I insist there are four people who are involved. There's only one person who doesn't want to anymore, whether it's Kate, William, Meghan, or Harry. I think that the dispute will continue. See you in the next video, but your comments, a salute.